Genevieve Diem here for Viralog TV, home of the innovative California Compliance Firearm product, where form always follows function. Today, I am going to show you how to install the AK Radlock and the Special Tactical AK Radlock release, otherwise known as the Star Kit. AK Radlock and Star Kit will fit the AK style rifles, Galil, Golani, Saiga 223, 308, and the Saiga 410 shotgun. Today I will be demonstrating the installation on an AK style rifle. Included in the AK Radlock kit is the AK Radlock, the spring plate, the coiled spring, the clevis pin, the 3 16th inch locking clip, and the Radlock key tool. Before any installation, make sure your firearm is unloaded and the chamber is clear. For our demonstration today, I will be using the stripped down featureless AK receiver. You will need some special tools for this install. Safety glasses, power drill with the 3 16th inch drill bit, hand file and or powered rotary tool, and finally a punch tool. You will need to start by drilling out the rivet of the magazine catch. Use the power drill to carefully drill out the flared opening of the rivet. You only need to drill deep enough until the flaring is gone and the rivet pops loose. Once the rivet is loose, you can use the punch tool and punch out the rivet and remove the magazine catch and spring. The AK Radlock is purposely made oversized from the original magazine catch. This allows fitment to different manufacturer tolerances, especially the Sentry Arms AKs. Therefore, you must custom fit the AK Radlock to your rifle and the type of magazines before installation. Otherwise, your AK Radlock will not function. There are two critical points. The top and the back of the AK Radlock you will need to pay attention to. First thing you should do is compare the height of the original magazine catch with the AK Radlock profile. You can attach them side by side with the included pin from the kit. Make a note of the height difference of the original magazine catch and the AK Radlock. If there is a difference, you can use any sharp object to score a line on the AK Radlock. Now, use the rotary tool and roughly grind down the top of the AK Radlock close to the line you marked. Make sure you keep the top flat and level as much as possible as you remove the material. Then, finish it to the mark with a hand file and put a slight radius at the front leading edge so the corner is not too sharp. Next, you need to check the back side clearance of the AK Radlock by attaching it to your receiver with the pin only. Rock it back and forth to see if it is rotating freely. If it is tight, then use the rotary tool or the file to remove some of the material from the back. Make sure you keep the same profile the AK Radlock has as you remove the material. Then, insert a 10 round magazine that you will be using with your rifle to test fit the AK Radlock. Manually move the AK Radlock to lock the magazine in and out. If the AK Radlock is rotating freely and it can lock and unlock the magazine in, then you are ready for the final fitting. However, if the AK Radlock does not rotate freely, then you may need to remove more material, either from the top or the back side. Remember, do not remove more material than you need to. Always test fit with every minor adjustment. The final fitting is basically assembling the AK Radlock with the spring plate, the spring, and the pin without the locking clip. Then, insert a 10 round magazine to see if the magazine will lock in place. If the AK Radlock is properly fitted, 
you should hear a snap sound when the magazine locks in. Also, you should be able to use the key tool to release the magazine very smoothly. If the AK Radlock is not moving smoothly, or the magazine is difficult to release, you may need to do some additional hand filing either at the top or the back side of the AK Radlock. Now that your AK Radlock is properly fitted and functioning, then you may install the locking clip to the slotted end of the pin. Your AK is now California compliant and can now be reassembled. However, if you have purchased the optional special tactical AK Radlock release or the Star Kit, then now is a good time to also test fit to your rifle. The Star Kit is an evolution in design that converts standard torsion spring to the coiled spring for the AK magazine release. In our research in making AK Radlock, we have found our coiled spring is much smoother and easier to compress compared to the torsion spring even though both springs have similar spring rates. The Star Kit is an ambidextrous paddled magazine release that will replace the original AK magazine catch, either in futureless build in California or for free state mode use only. The Star magazine catch you will need custom fitting just like the AK Radlock. You will need to go through the same process as the AK Radlock and take off material from the top and the backside as necessary. If you already have fitted the AK Radlock, then you can use it as a reference. You can remove the AK Radlock and put it side by side to the Star Magazine catch and mark where you need to remove material. Here we have a Star Magazine already properly fitted to the profile of the AK Radlock that we installed earlier. Now, we are ready to assemble our Star Magazine catch. We are assembling a California Futureless AK for this demonstration. Your magazine should snap in and can remove with the press of the Star Paddle. Remember, in California, Featureless Rifle means no pistol grip and no flash hider, but compensator is okay. If you need further assistance, then you may email our tech support at support at radlock.com. Be sure to visit our website www.radlock.com for more information on products and designs where form always follows function. Also visit our Radlock YouTube channel for more helpful videos. This concludes the AK Radlock and the STAR installation. Once again, I'm Genevieve DM. And I will see you at the range.